Alright, we gotta go for it. Pick it up! Get on the bird! Fly! Get the hell out of town! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh, gosh! It's Hey people of the interwebs, it is Q with another adventure in Ark Survival Evolved. I've pretty much got myself together again with all the bits and pieces I need to function in this wonderful map. And I've just got to go out and get myself a new Jaboa for storm warning purposes. Then after that, we're going to try and trap a wyvern and middle kid. I have been out while I was not on camera and added some extra uh, structural ceilings to the wyvern trap. So I'm hoping that once we get a wyvern in there, it's just not going to be able to escape. I guess we'll find out whether that's true or not when we get a wyvern in there. So let's just get this little jaboa back to our base where we can quite happily knock it out, feed it some medjo berries and some tranks and get ourselves a brand new storm warning barrow. So we'll just drop him there, we'll park here, we'll get off, we'll punch this little dude. Just stand still because you're going to get punched. Come on. Yeah, I know, it's scary. Where are you going? Dude. Hey, 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 stand still, little fella. Oh, there he goes. Oh, let's get some of these uh, medjures out of the feeding trough. I probably won't need that many, but we'll take half of them. Oh, I also got myself another raptor as well. A quite a high level one. It was 108 in its wild state. Okay, so we need to switch this on so we can see how this little fellow's doing. Uh, oh, better get some narcotics. Yeah, so the raptor I got was 108 in its wild state, and it tamed up to 135, which is not too bad. I just want to have a little bit of an army, because it's all good fun flying around on the RG and keeping away from all of the, uh, the bad stuff in the game. But sometimes it's a lot of fun to get yourself into maybe riding on the back of a Kano, surrounded by half a dozen raptors or maybe some direwolves and stuff like that, and just go and wreak havoc throughout the map and kill everything in sight. So that's one of the things we've got to do as soon as we get some milk for our young baby wyvern, which I think is doing okay. Let's take a look. Um, because obviously it's going to need... So it wants care in, an, in, in about two hours, so that gives us a lot of time to go and trap a wyvern, get it knocked unconscious, get some milk out of it, and get back here for this guy. And I think food-wise, yeah, 714 food, so it's going down, but slow enough that we can uh, still buy ourselves some time to get... Ooh, this guy's uh, torpor goes down really, really quickly. So what I'll do is I'll bring you guys back as soon as I am heading into the lair of the wyverns to bring one into my trap. Okay, we're going in. We've got a female 12. It's a poison, so not so much of a long reach on its um, attack. Uh, so, whoops, there's the... Oh, wow, we nearly flew past our trap. Also, I just want to quickly say thank you very much to Daniel North, one of my viewers, who left a comment and said, Hey, did you know that if you use cactus broth on yourself and your bird, then you become invisible! Whoa! <laughs> invisible to the creatures. And it actually works, so thank you very much for that tip. All right, so we have the wyvern in the trap, the modified trap. Hopefully it won't be able to get out now. Uh, let's just kill a few of these things around here so they don't sneak up on me while I am trying to get this wyvern tranquilized, ready for taking its milk. So I think I can safely park this guy here. Get out my gun. And shoot. Oh, they're not got any ammo. I haven't put the ammo in the gun yet. Uh, put that there. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, 
Not sure how many trank darts it's going to take to knock one of these things out. But that um, wyvern trap now with the modified bits on the top, you can see there in the video, is definitely keeping the, the, uh, the wyvern contained. Ah, let's get a little bit closer because I'm not too sure. I want to try and get headshots to bring it down faster. But I guess any hit is going to do the job. Oops, missed. Just got to keep an eye out for the snakes and the scorpions in this environment that may be encroaching upon us while we're preoccupied. Okay, this is a good position. Uh oh. Oh, it's down. Okay. Right, quickly get in there. Uh, access the inventory, steal the milk. See how fast its torpor is dropping? So I'm just going to slam another one into it because what I want to do is I want Miss Wrangler to be able to get the XP from killing this thing. So if we can get in here real quick, because this is only a level 12, so if we can get in here while it's still unconscious and kill it, then she's going to get some really good XP from this. Not sure how long it's going to stay unconscious for, or how long it's going to take us to kill it. But it's looking pretty bloody already. And... I think... Yes! Beautiful. Let's take, uh... Let's take all we can from this little body. And now, of course, let's get back to... Whoops, before we go anywhere, remembering to open our trap gates so that we can get another wyvern in there should we need to get more real Ooh, a level 100 scorpion i was just going to kill this for the chitin but i'm going to take this back and tame it up why not double bonus i'll get you guys uh back as soon as i'm back at the base and we're putting some milk into our baby wyvern now one of the things that we've got to look at here is the spoilage of the milk because it is on a timer, and this one will spoil in five minutes. So let's just throw one in here and see what the spoilage is on here. 22 minutes. So I'm going to throw all those in there for now, but I'm going to keep one out because I want to see what the spoilage on the milk is if I put it in a preserving bin and uh, also put some salt in there. So let's grab some salt out of here. So just in the preserving bin... With the usual stuff, it's 54 minutes. Throw some salt in there and an hour and 49 minutes. So I'm going to grab the rest of that milk off the baby wyvern and put it into the preserving bin because it will certainly keep a heck of a lot longer there. All right, so we have milk. It's got an hour and 45 minutes, give or take, for it to um, stay viable. And I guess, I don't know whether these guys are going to need... So 642... It didn't eat any milk, but I'm guessing it's going to be an hour and 28 before this guy needs some care. So I'm going to babysit the little wyvern, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as it wants some care. I just had a thought, while we're waiting for the baby wyvern to need care and attention, I'll just show you the animals I've tamed so far and have a look at their stats. Uh, I've just gone up to look for that uh, level 108 scorpion that we found, but it's wandered off. And uh, I couldn't put it in the taming pen because at the time, if you see the saber tooth behind me, I was taming that one up and I didn't want the scorpion to go in there and kill it. So let's take a look at what we've got as our posse, our animals. This is catnip. It's a level 162 saber. The health is already at 11, uh, 1150. So what I'm doing right now is just building up the damage on that one because I think uh, if we round out the health to a thousand on most of them as a pack they'll do pretty well. The dire wolves, I've just called them uh, wolf two, this is wolf two, so again a thousand health 
and the melee damage is the one that we're going to be pumping up on this only 165 at the moment but we want to make sure that when we do go out as a pack they can cause quite a lot of damage but also have enough health to um you know take some decent hits now this guy here frostfur was my very first dire wolf level 48 uh, sorry level 148 he tamed out at which gave it 2,000 health just to begin with. So we're really quite happy with the health on that one. And we'll just keep pumping the melee damage on that. Uh, moving to our next wolf three. Uh, health, 1,000 on that one already. And the melee damage at 197. So again, we're just going to keep pumping that one. And this one here must be wolf one. Um, still waiting to get the melee down. Uh, the health up to 1,000. And then, of course, we'll start working on that 148% melee damage our raptors what have we got here i think this is just raptor one okay 100 level 108 thousand health already uh melee damage at 228 so that's that's quite nice we'll just keep adding to that and raptor two i think this one's called yep came in at level 136 thousand health already and the melee damage already at 231 percent. so that's quite a powerful little beast our uh, lovely little, let's just get this guy pet. So everyone's getting an XP boost off XP booster there. Our uh, lovely little wyvern. I've called it cyanide because it's a poison wyvern. And one of my favorite poisons is cyanide for some strange reason. So I've called it cyanide. Uh, it's still waiting for care. It's still got an hour worth of care to go. So it could be a while on that one. Here's our XP boost. Nothing so special about this guy. He's just here to XP boost everybody else. So every time he gets a level up, I'm just adding to his health. One of our original flyers. This is Harry. Harry is quite happy doing what he's doing. He's just basically a standby bird, as is Louise. I think this is Louise. Yes, it is level 59. She's our fast standby bird. And we, of course, have... Miss Wrangler, a replacement for the missing Wrangler. Oh, Ark, you've got to fix that when things just go missing without any notification. Uh, 224. Oh, we've got some stuff in there. Oh, and the cactus broth that we use to keep ourselves masked or cloaked from the wyverns while we're down in their gorge trying to spot one that we wanted to grab for milking purposes. I put all the cactus broth in here because the spoilage timer is four hours. It's actually nearly five hours by the time it starts. So that'll keep nicely in there, no problem. So that's our posse at the moment. Of course, we are now waiting on this fella, Baby Cyanide, to want some care in about an hour's time. So I'll bring you guys back then. It is so painfully slow waiting for the wyvern to tame up or for time to pass for the wyvern to need some uh, attention. I've tidied up, I've reorganized my storage lockers, I have fed and updated all my animals. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this broth, uh, the cactus broth that I've got on board with the RG here. And I'm going to cloak myself and my RG once again. And we're going to go back down into the Wyvern's Ravine. And we're going to see if there's any other uh, Wyvern eggs that are worth picking up. Because, you know, why not? We've got time to kill. So let's head over there and see what happens, eh? Okay, so here we are at the edge of the Wyvern Ravine with the River of Lava, the River of Death running through it. So I'm just going to perch on this edge here. And I'm going to make sure that Miss Wrangler has a bit of cactus broth. And then go into my inventory. And did I not make any? Oh, okay. I didn't grab any. So I'll grab some off here. Oh, don't need all of them. I'll just take one. So I will eat that. And we shall descend into the Wyvern's Lair. <laughs> wow, there's so many of them. This is so scary. I know that they don't see me anymore, but it's just so scary being down here. But this cactus broth will allow us the, you know, the ability to not be seen. So I can have a good look down here and check all these little ledges where they lay their eggs and see if there's anything that might catch our eye. I'd love to get a high level egg 
and uh, get that tamed up, that's for sure. Uh, is there one up here? No, there isn't. Um, but it's just great to not be uh, recognized or seen or <laughs> attacked by these huge amount of wyverns and I'm sure they're all really high level because when I was over here earlier on looking for one to tame or one to um, take down for the milk that was you know, level 78 level 144 it was just crazy so we just got to keep an eye on our cactus broth countdown timer in the left hand corner there I'm sure we've got plenty of time to make a pass through this ravine twice Because basically I'm just checking the left wall on the way through this time. And then... Oh, there's a nest. Has it got an egg in it? Yes, it has, and it's a fire! Oh my goodness gracious me! And there's a fire right there, and it's an alpha! Oh my goodness! Uh, ooh. Oh. This, this could be very dangerous. Let's have a poo before we start this endeavor. Let's find out. I tell you what, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to put myself here, ready in a position to fly away. DB, what is this? It's a 50. Uh, no, it's a level 12. Really, that's not worth the hassle of getting chased by all of these wyverns just for a level 12. So I'm going to leave that one, even though it is a fire. Uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be more opportunities as we pass through the gorge. <laughs> It really is so scary with all of these uh, poison and fire and lightning wyverns just cruising around. Um, I just expect that any minute now they, they're just going to go crazy and all gang up on me. It's a shame that was such a low level egg because I really would like to get one of each wyvern. My poison is, is a nice start. It's a level 60 I think if, if I recall correctly. But I'd like to get one of each, a fire, and especially a, uh, especially a lightning one. There's another ledge down here. Let's have a look. See, nothing in there. Hmm. Nothing there. Wow, this uh, this ravine goes on for a long, long time. Oh, what have we got up here? Nothing. Hmm. Alright, so I'll bring you guys back once I've spotted a half-decent wyvern egg. Alright, here's another uh, nest. Oh, this one is definitely a lightning, I believe. So let's just get ourselves in a position where we can run away if this one is worth picking up and taking. Level 12 again! Mm. No! No, no, no! Not worth the hassle. Let's continue our search. You really don't realize how long this ravine actually is until you are able to get down in there and um, fly its length. It really does take a long time to fly along here. I'm very thankful for this cactus broth. Here's a, uh, here's a fire. Let's park ourselves here. Keeping an eye on that broth. A level 72. Hmm. Is it worth it? I think so. Don't you? We've got a 60 poison, so a level 72 fire would be... <laughs> okay. Alright, we're gonna go for it. Pick it up! Get on the bird! Fly! Get the hell out of town! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh! Gosh! Oh, we've got to fly. Just keep flying in a straight line and eventually I think we're going to lose them because we do have that speed that's going to take us away. Oh my goodness, look at how many are following us. This is just nuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know we've got the stamina because we just landed. So we can see we're putting distance between them and us now. We've got that speed. We've got that distance. So all we've got to do is just keep flying. And eventually they... Whoa! No, no, no! The edge of the map! No! Ah. How are they doing? Oh my goodness! They, got, they gained on us there when we hit the edge of the map! Where is... <laughs> We're just going to keep flying. We're good for stamina. We're good for health. 
we're losing them again. We've got that distance again. How many is there? One, two, three. See, they're dropping off now. Dropping off. Losing interest. Yes. Just two more to lose interest. Uh, where's the red obelisk? I've lost. I'm. Uh, I've lost my uh, my bearings. That's not it. Are they all lost interest now? Yes, they have. We escaped scot free with a level seventy something fire weapon. <laughs> okay, let's get this egg back to the base, and um, we'll put it in storage for now and see how our young poison wyvern is doing. I'm just bringing you guys back with 60 seconds left to go before baby cyanide, our very first wyvern, wants care. Now, it could want milk, it could want a walk, it could want a cuddle, I don't know, we'll find out. But this is quite an exciting little moment for me. I'm just hoping, how much um, food have you got left? 303. I'm hoping it wants milk because I really, I'm quite concerned about its food level going down. So I guess we'll find out in just a few seconds what baby cyanide is going to request of us. <laughs> oh, it's almost like sticking your hand into a box and not knowing what's inside. Okay, Cyanide. Let me know what you need, baby boy. What's to cuddle? Oh, do I just do I just cuddle? How do I do that? Uh I don't even know how to do that. Is that part of um how do I do that? Do I just pick it up? Let's cuddle with you. How do you cuddle it? <laughs> I could have. I'm going to get it some milk anyway. Please let me get it some milk um, because I'm just quite desperate about the food situation. 16, 18, 16. Okay, we'll take that one and just stick that inside there. Okay, so uh, access inventory, throw some milk in there, and it's eating the milk. Oh, its food has gone up tremendously. How do I cuddle it? Is this in really train thing? Unclaim? No, oh, enable, aggression, passive, wandering, this, there, but it's there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. No, it's nothing there. How do I cuddle this? Um, do I pick it up? I can't pick it up. Do I just get closer to it? I'm going to have to find out what this is all about. I'll bring you guys back in a second once I've done some research. Okay, well, the wiki says to press E. Uh, ah, so there we go. It's as easy as that. And it's now 3 hours and 42 seconds before it wants more care. And... Uh, what level is it at now? So, I mean, I've... 4% imprinting. Oh my goodness, this could take forever. 4% on the first one. It's got 3 hours and 42 minutes before it wants its next thing. It's had some milk. I'm going to get some more milk and see if that makes any difference. <laughs> this could be the longest process in the whole wide world. <laughs> Ark, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, let's throw that in there. Nah, doesn't want to eat it. So it's only when it wants care does it eat the milk. And of course, in 3 hours and 42 seconds, this milk that I've collected from my first wyvern trapping is just going to be expired, so i got to go out and do it all again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it quits here for today. I've quite enjoyed myself and learned a lot about the Scorched Earth map and the creatures that reside within it. I've also got myself a little bit more of my army built up, ready for going out and wandering and just creating carnage across the map. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you do like it, please give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments section. As soon as I see them, I'll get back to you. If you've got any handy tips and hints, I really do appreciate them. Thanks very much for that. And of course, thanks for watching. 
and take it easy. It's showtime.